They're currently at $15.80 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $30 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be an 89.87% increase. Hey guys, this is May 27th through May 31st of 2024. This week's winning stocks. Now, we're going to go through the stocks on our fundamentally sound watch list. Moving up from its 52-week low or its annual low price. But as you know, I like to begin the watch list with the S&P 500, the Dow, and the NASDAQ. Because those three let us know what's been going on with the market all week. And as we start with the S&P 500, it's been a down week. But notice with this candle that it moved down, it pushed itself up by the end of the week, but it was still a slightly negative week. We see the same thing with the Dow, but it really dropped, came all the way down here, pushed back up towards the end of the week, but still a negative week. And the NASDAQ, We've seen a second negative week for the S&P 500 and the Dow. But the NASDAQ was positive last week. But this week was a negative week for the NASDAQ. So it's been a negative week in the markets. Now as to the stocks on our watch list. We have Forward Air Corporation. We know I like to break the stocks on the, our watch list down into three tiers. Three stars, which is the most fundamentally sound. Two stars, which is beneath that. And one star, the least fundamentally sound on our watch list, but still fundamentally sound enough to be on the watch list. Forward Air Corporation is a three star. Now, they have an earnings report coming out, but it's on July 31st, so it's not for a while, almost two months. In any event, an earnings report is almost like going to a casino. The earnings report itself is like a report card, but for businesses instead of children, and with that earnings report, if it comes out good, the stock price can really jump. And if it comes out bad, the stock price can really drop. So it's almost like being at a casino. Well, we see Forward Air had been dropping for quite a few weeks. Each of these candles represents a week. We saw a little positivity here, but it continued to drop. Now we're seeing a little positivity here one week. We want to see if it continues to drop, goes sideways, or moves up. Forward Air is currently at $16.80 a share. But Yahoo analysts expect that in the next... 12 months, or I should say they they um estimate that in the next 12 months, it can go up to $24.25. If that happens, that will be a 44.35% increase. Next, we have Biogen Incorporated. Biogen is a three star. They have an earnings report dropping on July 23rd or later that week. Now they had moved up one, two, three, four weeks in a row. Then there was a negative week. This last week was a positive week. We want to see what they do moving forward. 
They're currently at $224.94 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $283.95 in the next 12 months. If they do that, that will be an increase of 26.23%. MGP Ingredients, they are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 1st. Now, they had dropped quite a bit, we see from here. Then one big move up, dropped quite a few more weeks, couple of moves up, sort of going sideways and down. This stock is currently at $77.62 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to $113.71 in the next 12 months. If that happens, that will be a 46.50% increase. Cable One. They are a two-star. They currently have an earnings date on August 1st or later that week. Now, this stock has been moving in a sort of sideways pattern for a few weeks. We want to see when it breaks out of that pattern and moves up. In any event, they're at $385.91 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $496.83 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 28.74% increase. We have Liberty Broadband. Now they are they were not fundamentally sound enough to make it on our watch list. I put them in here anyway, but they were not fundamentally sound enough to make it on our watch list. But they have an earnings date on August second or later that week. Notice they've been moving in a sideways pattern for a few weeks. They're currently at $54.24 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $100.47 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be an 85.23% increase. We have CSG Systems. They are a two-star, and they have an earnings report dropping on July 31st or later that week. Now, they took a steep drop on this week. They dropped all the way down, moved up a little, moved sideways. They're moving in a sideways pattern now. This stock is currently at $43.15 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $66.11 in the next 12 months. If they do that, that would be a 53.21% increase. ConMed Corporation. They are a one star and they have an earnings report dropping on July 24th or later that week. Now, this stock dropped down here. They started to move back up. A negative week started to move back up. A slightly negative week moved up a little more this last week. We want to see if they continue to move up. They're currently at $76.44 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate 
they can move up to $94.86 in the next 12 months. If that happens, that would be a 24.10% increase. Excellus Technologies. They are a three-star. They have an earnings report dropping on July 31st or later that week. They, well, they were at their low around here. Then we saw a couple of weeks moving up. They've been moving sideways since then. We want to see what they move do moving forward. They're currently at $112.49 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $144 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 28.01% increase. United Health, they really moved up from where they were, so there's not much room for them to move up much further. They are a three star. They have an earnings report dropping on July 12th or later that week. And they're currently at $495.37 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $569.78 in the next 12 months. But if they do that, that would only be a 15.02% increase. Boeing Company. Boeing Company is not on our watch list. It's um, not fundamentally sound enough to make our watch list, but it is a very well-known company, so I mentioned it here for that reason. They, like I said, they're not on a watch list, so they don't have any stars. They have an earnings report dropping on July 24th or later that week. They're currently at $177.61. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $223.16. If they do, that will be a 25.65% increase. Red Robin Gourmet, another popular company not on our watch list. They weren't fundamentally sound enough to make the watch list. But they have an earnings report dropping on August 15th or later that week. They're currently at $8.10 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $15.63 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 92.96% increase. Verisign, another company not on our watch list. Now, Verisign, they have an earnings report dropping on July 25th or later that week. They've been moving in the sideways pattern in the last few weeks. They are currently at $174.32 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $207.50 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 19.03% increase. Now, the next set of stocks that I am going to be showing you guys are stocks that have been found through a app that I've had created for your benefits. And what that stock does, what that app does, I'll explain here. This app checks the stock market every day to find what stocks are at their 
annual low price. And then for the ones that are fundamentally sound, it pulls them up for you to view. So let's go down and take a look at some of what it finds. If you want to see if a company is profitable, one of the first things you can look at is the earnings per share. Well, this, this app checks the earnings per share for the company for the last five years. And if at least three of those years have been positive, it pulls it up. Such as Robert Half, we got Teradata, Myers Industries, Accenture. It pulls them up. And I'm going to go through this list. And if I go through this list, it makes me focus on Accenture. In 2019, they made $7.49. 2020, they made $8.03. 2021, they made $9.31. 2022, they made $10.87. And 2023, they made $10.90. So you see that their earnings per share is increasing every year, which means that's a company that I want to click on and take a deeper look at. Now it tells you what the company does here at the top. And all the other data is below. This app is still in development. It, it should be released next Saturday. But it gives you the earnings per share for the company for the last five years. The low and the high prices. The low and the high PEs. And what percentage that company increased in that year. We also have statistics on the company. And how do we know if it's a solid company? By looking at the income statement, the balance sheet, or the cash flow statement. Now, there are a few changes that are going to be made to this app, but only minor. But the main of it is already done. But I want to go back to this page and look at it even further. So like I said, it pulls up all the stocks that have had per, had positive earnings for those years, but you can also do some other filters. I could say I want companies that bought back their own stock for the last five years. And notice the list gets smaller, slightly smaller. I could say I want companies where the current assets on the balance sheet are greater than the current liabilities. And notice the list gets smaller. I could say I want companies where the profit margin on the income statement is 10% or higher for all those years. And it gets smaller. See, now we're down to four companies. And I could say I want it with a profit margin on the income statement is greater than 20%. And now out of that whole list, we're down to one company. So one of the problems that people face when buying stocks is that they don't know what to buy. And this app helps to resolve that problem. And they don't know when to buy. And this app helps to resolve that problem. And once you click on the stock that you're interested in, all of the terms that are used are terms that are already used and familiar to people who analyze stocks. But for those who are not familiar with those terms, I will have a course up 
and it's not ready yet, but you'll see the course. The link will be down in the footer where you'll be able to view that course and understand all of these terms. But in any event, let's get back to our stock analysis. And remember, all of the stocks that we're looking at now are stocks that were found by this app. And before, when I would go through my stocks, everything would pretty much be over $30 because there were so many stocks at their annual low price that I couldn't search through all of them. Well, now, with the app, that's not an issue. It's just as likely to find a $300 stock as it is to find a $1 stock. So let's take a look at the rest of our watch list. So the next stop we have is RCI Hospitality. We've had them before, but they've dropped again. They are a three-star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 7th. Notice they're still dropping, but we had a long tail on this one, which means they moved back up towards the end of the week. We want to see what they do moving forward. This stock is at $44.74 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to $98 in the next 12 months. If that happens, that will be an increase of 119.40%. We have Varex Imaging Corporation. They are a one star. They have an earnings report dropping on July 30th or later that week. They had been moving down for a number of weeks, but now we see one positive week. We want to see what they do moving forward. Now this particular stock, is at $15.45 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to $23.25 in the next 12 months. If that happens, that would be a 50.49% increase. We have Semler Scientific. They are a three star. They're currently at $29.33. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $40 in the next 12 months. Now, if they move up that much, that would be an increase of 36.38%. And they have an earnings report dropping on August 8th. Bruge Energy Limited. They are a no star. Now, Bruge Energy Limited is actually a 92 cent stock. Yahoo doesn't have an estimate on them, but my estimate is that they can move up to $1.84 in the next 12 months. My estimate based on P ratio, that would be a 100% increase. Interparfums. Interparfums is a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 6th. And they're sort of moving in a sideways pattern, up and down, but sort of sideways. They're currently at $119.78 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $165.60 in the next 12 months. If that happens, 
that would be a 38.25% increase. Dine Brands Global. You may not know them by that name, but you'll know them by the companies that they own, which are International House of Pancakes and Applebee's. They are not on our watch list. That's why they don't have any stars. Not fundamentally sound enough. But they have an earnings report dropping on August 1st or later that week. They're currently at $39.45 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $54.88 in the next 12 months. If that happens, that would be a 39.11% increase. Information Services Group. They are a, well, they're actually not on our watch list, so there's no star rating for them. But this company has an earnings report dropping on August 1st or later that week. We see they had a positive week a few weeks back. They continued positive, but sort of in a sideways pattern. They're currently at $3.19 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $6.08 a share in the next 12 months. If that happens, that will be a 90.60% increase. Five below. They are a three-star, and they have an earnings report dropping on June 5th, just a few days away. Now, they moved down, a long move down here, one positive week, then a long move down for a few more weeks. Now we finally see one positive week. Do they continue to go down, move sideways, or start to move up? They're currently at $138.13 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $206.36 a share in the next 12 months. If that happens, that will be a 49.40% increase. Myers Industries, they are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 1st or later that week. They had been moving down for three weeks. This one was a significant move. Then two more for the next two weeks. We finally have a slight positive move this week. Will they continue to go down, move sideways, or start to move back up? They're currently at $15.80 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $30 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be an 89.87% increase. Lululemon Athletica. They are a three-star. They have an earnings report dropping in a few days on June 5th. This stocks move down, sideways, and down one positive week. Will they continue, to continue down, go sideways, or start to move up? They're currently at $311.99 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $426.70 in the next 12 months. If that happens, that will be a 36.77% increase.
Wendy's Company. We're familiar with Wendy's, the restaurant. They have earnings report dropping on August 7th or later that week. Now, Wendy's moved down four weeks in a row. This is the fourth week. But notice they pushed down, came back up towards the end of the week. They didn't go all the way up, but they moved up sizably. So we want to see if they continue to go down, go sideways, or start to move up. They're currently at $17.45 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they could move up to $21.36 in the next 12 months. If that happens, that's only a 22.41% increase. So that's it for our winning stocks this week, guys. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. And you have a great night.